as students of statistics, we owe a great debt of gratitude to our friends at the Guinness Brewing Company. You see, there's a lot of science that goes into brewing beer, and in 1903, Guinness got all sciency in creating an experimental malt house at their brewery at St. James's Gate in Dublin, Ireland. At this experimental malt house, the brewers slash scientists could grow all varieties of barley, from seed corn to harvest to malting to brewing to the final glorious product. In nature, Barley has a lot of variability, and one of these scientists slash brewers named William Seeley Gossett was very concerned about the variability of the barley plants because you can't brew a consistent porter or stout if your barley is different from one season to the next. At the time, statisticians like Carl Pearson and Sir Francis Galton were using huge sample sizes, which meant that the parameters they were estimating approached a normal curve. But for a young brewer estimating barley yields, the sample sizes were small, maybe three or four. And that is a problem because small sample sizes do not look like a normal distribution. But fortunately, William Seeley Gossett solved this problem for us. He created tables, now called T-tables, that account for the variability of small sample sizes. Of course, he wanted to publish his tables, but then... So here's where the stories diverge. Some people will tell you that Guinness would not allow any of their employees to publish for fear of divulging trade secrets. Other people will tell you that Gossett published anonymously and that Guinness never found out until after his death. But according to the minutes of the Guinness board, Gossett was granted permission to publish with the stipulation that he use a pseudonym. And so in 1908, William Seeley Gossett published two articles in Carl Pearson's journal Biometrica under the pseudonym Student. And today, we still use Student's Tea Table whenever we do a tea test. So let us lift a glass to William Seeley Gossett, who proved that a small sample size is nothing to be ashamed of, and that some great things can come from statistics.